Hi everyone, and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll be taking cuttings again from our tomato plant and looking to see if saliva can help them grow new roots faster. Every time I see a list of DIY rooting hormones, saliva makes the list, but I've yet to see this tested and I'm very suspicious if it works at all. Now, there are no actual hormones in saliva, so calling it a rooting hormone is a little inaccurate, but people are claiming that enzymes within saliva can help the plant to be disease resistant and develop new roots faster as a result. I'm simply taking my tomato cuttings, putting them in my mouth, and trying to coat the bottom of that stem with saliva. It doesn't taste the greatest, but it's free, it's pretty easy, and we'll see if it works. In addition to my three saliva treated stems, I've got three stems in plain tap water acting as a control. We'll be taking our look at our plants on day number 11 as they've now rooted and we'll see if there's any differences between our rooting methods. On the right hand side we have our saliva treated stems and on the left our controls. You can see that all of these stems have rooted successfully. They all have varying amounts of roots at varying lengths. Even within each subtype, there is variability between how each stem performed. I'm hesitant to say that there's any real differences between our two propagation methods here. I think both the plain tap water and the saliva treated stems have both performed well. The saliva might not be adding much benefit, but it's definitely not harming these plants. Now, maybe we just didn't have enough saliva in that last test to really see the differences or the benefits that the saliva might provide. So I decided to set up a similar experiment here. On the left, we've got plain tap water. And on the right, that one's about three quarters saliva with a little bit of tap water. We can see that these two reservoirs look quite different. The saliva one has a lot of aeration and bubbles at the top. This might actually be quite beneficial to the plants. So we're gonna add tomato stems into each of these reservoirs and see how they perform. We rejoin these plants on day number seven to see our rooting progress. Right off the top, we can see that the saliva treated plants have really dried out and don't look too good. Checking in on our root systems and starting with the controls, we can see that these stems have both grown new roots. We've got roots coming out all around these stems and they're progressing quite nicely. At day seven, this is about what I would expect to see from these plants. Taking a closer look at our saliva reservoir stems, you can see just how terrible these leaves look. They're browning and curling in on themselves. These plants look just about dead in contrast to the ones in water, which are still green and luscious. Checking in on our root systems, we really don't have any. There's really no evidence here at all that this was a good idea in any way. I'm gonna go ahead and state that saliva as a rooting agent is lies from the internet. I don't think I'll be trying this again as it doesn't seem to be providing much benefit. Maybe the story is different if you're placing your stems in soil or some other substance, but water propagation seems to be the simple and easy way to go. Thanks a lot for watching and happy harvesting.